Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So, time for August favourites. I can't believe summer is pretty much over. I haven't even been on summer holiday yet. Um, any day now. <laughs> Let's hope the weather holds. But in the meantime, I thought I'd show you what I've been wearing a lot of in August. It's all makeup except for one product. So I'll talk about that first. And it's this um, dry shampoo by Bumble and Bumble. Um, it describes it as, is that BB or B6? Preta powder. I think I got this off Preta Porto because I, I don't know, I had some voucher or something. Um, and it's described as equal parts dry shampoo, style extender and volume in a pinch. Um, now the reason I'm talking about this is that uh, I basically hate dry shampoo. Um, I don't really need a whole lot of volumizer in my hair because it's pretty thick, um, but I am sometimes too lazy to wash it as often as it should be washed. Um, but I can't bear the texture and in particular the smell of quite a few of the um, spray dry shampoos um, I'm trying to think of the fame, the name of the famous one here in the UK. Um, my mind's gone blank, but I'll try and remember and put it in the information box. Um, it's quite cheap, but oh, it's just horrible, horrible smell. And then um, equally, I have paid silly money for some of the higher end ones. And to be honest, although most of them don't smell as repulsive, I haven't really found that they're very effective. So anyway, I got this. Which is basically, um, it kind of looks like a fine talcum powder. See? Um, but it, I suppose it's very fine. So although it's giving a kind of white sheen there, it doesn't give a horrible um, talky look to the hair and your roots. Um, and it's got an inoffensive smell. Um, so it definitely works to preserve my blow dry for an extra day in a not too repulsive way <laughs> so that's not the highest recommendation really but um it is from me given i hate dry shampoos that if i've got to use one um definitely this one will do i have to say there's a lot of product in there because i only need a very little um in the roots so um bumble and bumble pressure powder um okay if you have to dry shampoo so, um, I've had a stinking cold for at least a third to, yeah, pretty much a third of um, August. <clears throat> so, I have been feeling very below par. Um, so, again, in my favourites, I've really needed, I think I showed this um, last month, the Belmine um, powder from Chanel to kind of warm up the edges of the face in number 30, Lay Beige. So I won't talk about that again. Um, as my blush, I've been loving, um, is this the Bicoastal? Yeah, Bicoastal, which was the summer collection from Tom Ford. Um, it looks as if I've barely made an impact on it. I have been wearing it quite a lot. Um, I didn't wear it initially all that much when I got it. Um, I'm particularly liking this top one, which is basically just a highlighter. And it looks ridiculously um, peachy pale there. Um, but I promise you, it actually works okay as a blush for me in my current pale state. And uh, it's quite glittery, but quite pretty and soft. And I really like it. This one, uh, you can see I haven't used quite as much. It's much more pigmented. So I have to go a bit easier on that. But I mean, you can blend the two together. And it does give a pretty, um, quite natural, um, peachy cheek colour. So I've been enjoying that. I think that was probably the standout product of the, um, was it the summer collection or the spring collection? I forget. Um, but yeah. Um, but then the star for me really has been the Chanel Le Rouge collection. Um, I'm really, really loving it, notwithstanding my um, candor et expérience is still in its box. That's just because I like to keep it in its box. I have been using it quite a lot. It's a wonderful, wonderful palette. Um, 
all sorts of fantastic. Uh, they look like autumnal colours, but I've used them all, and these browns are, you know, perfect at this time of year. Um, all matte, as you know. Uh, what can I say? I think this is probably one of Chanel's best quads in years. Um, I often buy the Chanel quads and end up giving them away, selling them, whatever, after a couple of months. I literally, I think, have maybe three others that I've kept in my collection at the moment. This one is definitely a keeper. Um, it's a great, great um, multi-purpose, basic, classic, but beautiful quality. And I think um, pretty good value because it's up there quality-wise with the Tom Ford ones and a good 20 quid cheaper. So... Um, you don't have to despair if you haven't got it yet, although it's part of the Le Rouge collection, it's permanent, so it's certainly going to be around for a couple of years, so you don't have to rush out and buy it now. You can save up or ask for it for Christmas or whatever. I think it would be a lovely winter Christmas holiday quad as well, so um, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm pretty sure that's going to feature in my kind of all-time favourites for the whole year, um, and it's, I think, my favourite product out of the Le Rouge collection. And I, I like the whole collection, actually. Um, I will say I didn't buy the um, Jus Contrast, the blush, which a lot of people raved about. I looked at it again this afternoon when I did revisit the collection and I did buy a few more items. I don't know whether we'll have time for them here or I'll do that separately. Uh, but I didn't um, get the blush. I specifically um, went back and compared it with Malice, which is what I've been wearing uh, when I've been wearing the um, the uh, uh, Quatre Ombre uh, palette, um, because it's quite a pigmented, ready blush that I already had in my collection from a few years ago. And I think it's quite similar to the current Le Rouge. If anything, the current um, Rouge Profonde, I think it's called, is slightly pinkier than Malice. So um, you definitely do need quite a strong blush, or I've felt that I've needed quite a strong blush with that palette, um, particularly if you're using the red or um, using one of the pencils around the eyes. Uh, but I find that Malice does absolutely fine, so I haven't needed to by the blush. The other um, product that I'm really, really loving um, from the Le Rouge collection is the um, Nail Gloss Rouge Radical. I've got it on at the moment. It's quite unusual because it looks quite different in the bottle. It looks like a real um, gloss gel, top coat, pretty boring, but it goes on um, intensely pigmented, quite orangey, as you can see. Uh, I think it's um, slightly odd in that it's, to me, this is a summer colour that's not going to perhaps work quite as well in the winter. I mean, there's nothing wrong with wearing red in the winter, but I prefer a kind of creamier, bluier red than this kind of orange jelly-like. But um, it's, a, it's a good um, formulation as well. I'm finding it's lasting better on me than... Um, my previous experiences of the the new range so much so I have in fact bought a backup of this today and it's a long time since I've bought a backup of uh, a Chanel um, polish but uh, loving it so definitely recommend Rouge Radical whilst we're on the um, Chanel polishes another favourite it's always a favourite for me in the summer is Holiday. Um, I think this is 2012 or 2013. It's another where I have a backup. Um, it's, to me, just the perfect orange um, to wear on your toes, your fingers as well, but I've got it on my toes at the moment. I mean, Chanel has a slew of oranges over the years. I picked out just a few here um, of varying shades of orange, coral. I think Lilas is kind of the nearest but you can see is um, slightly more pinky coral rather than the burnt orange um, and I've also got Mirabella which again a shade peacher and um, orange fizz much lighter um, loads of pretty oranges and corals which I think are beautiful um, on the nails in the summer but 
to me, holiday is uh, the one. And uh, so if you like it, your oranges to be quite burnt orange, um, have a look out for this one on eBay. Definitely worth grabbing and you can get it, you know, from time to time. Lips. Um, I did buy um, one of the Le Rouge uh, Velvet and I haven't been wearing it a lot yet. I will do. I like it. just hasn't felt quite right uh, with the looks I've been doing. Um, so I have been pulling out an old one, which is a Coco Shine. So a little bit more forgiving in the hot weather. Uh, number 63, Rebel. I've no idea if they still do this, but you can see, again, it's a very orangey, um, but kind of forgiving, glossy orange that I've been enjoying with my um, palette and with my Rouge Radical or else I've been having a more nude lip and I'm still loving the um, Charlotte Tilbury um, mattes. This one is the Kidman's Kiss which I think I showed you the other week, other month rather. Just a very pinky, well pink really rather than a nude but um, <clears throat> nothing too offensive <clears throat> and I've also been trying to get some use out of my um, Le Boutin pretty nudie pink as well um, been using that a lot um, along with I haven't got it out my um, by Terry um, Baume de Rose which I find very comforting on chapped lips and uh, it makes them look glossy and plump even when they're not so I haven't had time to show you the extra lipstick and lip pencil that I got from Chanel today but doubtless that will feature again soon um, those are my favorites for August and uh, I look forward to speaking to you again soon bye for now